Hi, this is Design Tutorials, and in this short video, we're going to learn how to rearrange artboards in Illustrator, or in simple words, how do we move or reorder the position of artboards in in an Illustrator document. Now, as we all know that by default, when you create new artboard in your document, it gets created next to the previous one, and this is how it looks like, like in a in a single row or a straight line. Okay, but what if we have multiple artboards and uh, let's say in this case I have five artboards at the moment and what if I wanted the fifth one to go under the first one instead of um, uh, uh, creating um, a position next to the fourth one, okay? So what if I want to, um, these artboards in some particular number of rows and columns? Now there are two methods of doing that. Um, first one is quite manual um, which one is uh, and the one I'm talking about is using the artboard tool okay so in your toolbox you just need to find this artboard tool or with a short key shift O so once you click on it um, then you will be able to select any of your artboard and let's say I want the fifth one so I will simply select it and, and select and drag it down to the bottom of the first one okay similarly oh or maybe i want it to put it here and the fourth one should be here okay so this is one way of doing this and this is quite manual because i could position the, uh, my artboards anywhere okay uh, now i will undo all of this okay so this was one method the other one uh, is more uh, advanced and uh, for precise uh, rearrangement so to do that all you need to do is that you need to um, be in the artboard panel here uh, right next to the layers one and here you need to click on this corner icon okay this one this sign icon if you click on it it will toggle this drop down and it's in this drop down you need to uh, you will find this option in the bottom called rearrange all artboards so simply click on it and this will open up this um, uh, a panel a new panel and here you will notice that um, you could arrange your artboards in terms of columns or rows uh, using these uh, uh, different sort of uh, possibilities now by default it would be grid by row and um, here you could uh, decide the number of columns for example what if uh, in case I want three columns um, which will mean that after three columns the next one will go to the bottom of the, those okay there will be no fourth column so I would simply write three here and uh, click OK and there you go uh, you, did you notice what has happened now after three columns the next artboards have moved to the bottom of uh, uh, the first ones okay so now it's one two three four five similarly I, I would go back rearrange all the artboards uh, I could say four columns and then press OK and now you will notice that after fourth column the next one has moved to the bottom similarly uh, there um, I think you could explore these settings more because uh, you could also arrange your columns in terms of uh, uh, rows as well how many rows do you want this for now I will keep it close it now uh, one important thing to mention here is that it's really important to uh, understand that in artboard panel these numbers the one two three are the ones that are representing which artboard is number one which artboard is number two not the names because the names could be changed for example I could double click on any artboard name and call it uh, artboard A and uh, let's I would I could call it artboard hex okay so these names does not reflect the number of the artboard okay these could be uh, renamed to anything anything so therefore it's important to understand that these are these numbers the numbers to the left of uh, this panel are actually representing which artboard is number one which is two which is three Okay, and uh, uh, you could even change the order of this artboard by dragging it. For example, at the moment, artboard number five, oh, let me 
do it like this okay so uh, at the moment I will okay now it's more clear so at the moment artboard number five is this one so and it is also it is actually artboard number five but what if I drag it to the third one now if I will save this document as a PDF it will have the arrangement one two and then it this is a third one okay then it would go to four and then it would go to five okay so which means that uh, in in this manner without rearranging it physically just by reordering it from here we could decide which artboard is going to be number one which is number two and then the third one has gone already here this is third one okay although it is named artboard five but actually this is the third one uh, i hope uh, you understand all of these um, methodologies to rearrange or reorder your artboards in adobe illustrator now if if you found this helpful don't forget to support this channel by liking this video and adding some comments to it and uh, don't forget to subscribe as well i hope th i hope you found this helpful and um, take care have a nice day